Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a commercial split system load board. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We got an emergency service call. This thing was full of water. They mentioned they thought everything is good now but they wanted me to still check it out. I can see that there's an issue. Hopefully you guys can see there's water on the bottom there and I see a little bit of water in the pan and it doesn't look like it's draining. First things first, let's take this stuff out so we have access and let's also shut this thing down. I have no idea what this is, it's like new for me. I think one of those switches would turn it off. And nope, wasn't that. Wait a second. like a click oh, let's see this one nope doesn't shut the power off here what it might do is just shut it that might just shut the power off for the solenoid but not the fan wonder which one it is take all this stuff out yeah go ahead Take out the rack, sure. lift it up, and pull, and pull. There you go. All right, let's let's put it up here. You can see right here. There's water. It's clogged. It's not moving, and all the water is coming from here. Where is it leaking from? Is this hose? Oh, it looks like this hose is no good definitely gonna want to clear this drain all right so I got my gauges I'm gonna use nitrogen I got my regulator on there and if you see this hose right here this is actually the R11 flush gun but it connects to the hoses and you see how it has this pitch this is perfect to actually blow out a drain you just press down on it and you're good it's actually really cool so let's see what's going on here let's get the light So if you can see there's water there sitting above that hole. What I want to do is try to blow that out. Hopefully we can get the right angle with that tool. If not, we'll make it happen regardless. But definitely this is a clogged drain. Okay, so we got the fans and the, and the expansion valve there. Coil's pretty dirty. Let's see if I can blow this out with the water there and we'll see it physically drain. Uh, it's just leaking from the bottom now. What happened? Can't tell that's actually going down the drain. This pan needs to be cleaned. Now we got to take apart this drain to really see what's going on. Now I want to, you know what, at this point I want to take all this apart and let's clear out the line that way as well. All right, let's, let's open this up. Clear through here as well. Woo! Whoa! I got everywhere. Okay. Let's make sure this line is clear up top. All right, that's definitely clear. So you see how this is like that? That's why they put this thing and the tie wraps. So let's keep that there. Let's pour water down and let's see what happens. We're going to start by getting all the water out of here and we're going to clean the pan and from there we're going to take care of everything and test to see if it's draining. Alright, well, cleaned up a bit on this pan. This stuff is like stuck on here. Dry that up. 
So what I want to do now is pour water. See it draining good. Make sure nothing is coming out from the bottom. I think it was this seam. Once it gets past this seam, a little bit, it starts to overflowing from the back. Right there at that little seam right here. Once it gets above that, it was going down. So let's see how this goes. See, it wasn't just standing above and pooling over. It was just a clog drain. Looks like we cleared it. Let's just do a little bit more of this, run a few tests like that. You don't want to overdo it because you're never going to get that much more. It just, it just drips down as you can see. See those little drips? So, you don't want to go crazy with this. Everything's draining good now. I don't see any water. Let's give this thing an eye. And let's clear this all up and put everything back together. I got some cable ties. I'm going to go ahead and hold this in place even though this holds it let's just give it a little bit of extra security i don't see any more water there's nothing dripping here and everything looks good we have the tie wraps i'm just going to give this thing another little test everything's looking good looks like this pan is rotting away look at all these things and this thing is sweating as well could actually use some pan line this thing could actually use some pan liner to where like you spray it on and it just like keeps it from like sweating the metal from sweating so you're not going to get this little bit of moisture because now you're going to get a little bit of water here and there because this thing is constantly sweating all right everyone looks like this is going to be it we're going to start putting everything back in here everything's dry everything looks good we gave it some time we're going to turn the power back on let the let that solenoid kick in this is a split system. There's a large condensing unit. You guys seen it in my previous video where it has two compressors and it just controls like 20 different boxes from walk-in boxes to actually all these refrigerators and the, the whole kitchen and bar areas even on different floors. It's quite the complex setup. So that was it. We got a clog drain. That's the way I go about it. And if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as they come out with new videos every week. I'll catch you all next time.